All right, now, at this point in time, when we're cleaning the machine or flushing the machine with water, part of the cleaning process, or emptying the machine to clean, or we're sanitizing, the day and night switch doesn't matter. We can be in day or night, and it will do its operation, okay? Now, clean just turns the beater shaft inside. That's all cleaning does. It doesn't clean the machine for you. You're going to clean the machine, but it just turns that beater shaft while you're running water through it, okay? Okay, so uh, same with this side, clean off auto. Now, day and night. Your night operation just is a standby operation. In other words, at night, you're going to turn this to a night cycle, and that just keeps it cold in here, below 41 degrees. So the machine doesn't have to work all night. It doesn't, it's not going to beat up your product all night because no one's pulling any product out. You don't have product breakdown. Um, keeps it at 40, or below 41. It's a set at 38 degrees in the barrels. And of course your refrigerator will be on all the time. And that's going to be, that's going to be your night operation. Now in the day operation, it freezes inside the cylinder and refrigerates in the refrigerator. Okay, so basically you're refrigerating the whole system, it's keeping it below 41. Okay, so your machine doesn't have to work as hard at night, doesn't beat up the product, and you're obviously saving on electricity. Now the next switch is your mix on and off. That's your pump. Why they don't call it pump, I don't know, but it says mix on. Okay, so if you turn that on, your pump's going to come on, and you will have the pump on at any time you're dispensing product or cleaning and flushing the machine. Now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the front part. I'm going to go ahead and pull this head off. So basically, first time I do this, I'm going to pull these out. Now this is a spring in here, so you push up, flip that out of the way. Which one? Okay, there's a spring on the inside each one of these. So that's a return spring that closes the handle back mm -hmm. again. So to get these out, I'm going to push up on them and flip that open, pull it out. Mm -hmm. Now all three of these are the same, interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one, which pot they go in. Put those aside over here. Okay, now I'm going to take the knobs off. All the knobs are the same, so they're interchangeable. Okay. Now the head itself, this, this is called the cylinder head. Head itself is actually in, seated inside the, the cylinders. So you've got to actually take your handles and break it loose. Okay. So I'm going to grab it like this and give it a little wiggle and then keep a hold of it and bring it off. Okay. Set this over here, that's your cylinder head. Now, beater shafts, very simple. This is one of the best ones, you know, this, this design here is very, there are probably three parts in this whole thing. So pull out your bushing, that keeps your shaft in center. So when it's turning, it's got a, it's, it's center point right there. All right, pull that out, pull this beater shaft out. Now you see how I'm turning it this way just so this thing doesn't fall on the ground, which it's doing. Like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even the masters. I know. Them. Okay, so let's set this over here. So you got three parts, actually four. A seal, two blades, okay, and the shaft itself. So this, these parts are interchangeable. So side to side, it's the same. Okay, so it's the same stuff. Okay, pull that out. And I'm going to grab it this time and pull it out. Okay. Okay, so now we have blades are all the same size, seals are the same, and we have our bushings too. Let's not forget those. Okay. Now, these blades are all the same, but they only go on one way. If you put it on that way, that's incorrect. You also have a picture up on the, on the machine that shows you without the guy's mangled hand there, but you can see how I want that blade to be facing. Same with this picture here. And that actually, that sticker right there is telling you. Proper blade installation shown with the flat against, flat side against the cylinder wall. All right. Flat side being, meaning they're talking about this side and they want that blade to go in there just like that. Okay. Now, these blades are non-reversible. In other words, you can't mess them up. They've made these things about as, about, let's, let's call it, as about as unsmart proof as possible. Okay? So, for unsmart people. <laughs> so, if you put this on upside down, you're setting it on the peg, that's upside down. I try to put it in there. Even if I only have one upside down and one right side up, I try to get this thing in there, and it doesn't fit. 
So it can only go on one way correctly and, and actually get installed inside the cylinder. So once it's in there like that, it goes right in. So if I've had this upside down, no matter which one it was, it's just not going to fit. Okay, so they, they figured that out for you. Okay, so these are a non-reversible blade. Okay, and we do have a couple different little spots on here. We have a, a smaller hole and an elongated hole. As the beater turns, it's going to be turning in one direction. So it's going to wear one side of the blade out a little bit more than the other side. So what they're doing is they're giving you a, a visual marking hole. So in the case, say one week we want to run that larger hole towards the back of the cylinder. Next week we want to flip it around and do this so you get even wear on the blades.